You can't compare gay people to black people. A gay person can change and go back to being straight. But if you're black, you're black for life. Oh, really? Tell that to little Kim. Tell that to little Kim. Tell that to, uh, uh, what's the brother's name that hit all the home runs for the Cubs? Uh, uh, Sammy Sosa. Tell that to Sammy Sosa. No, Kevin, you're right, man, in a lot of ways. I cannot disagree with anything you're saying, especially that scenario you put up about an interview. And there are a black people who never get past that initial interview because the person interviewing them has a problem with black people. I fully acknowledge that. I fully acknowledge that. Absolutely. Tanika writes, uh, we can't blame the white parents, but we can immediately blame the black parents. The world we live in, shape in my head, I think she's talking about the difference between everyone and the way America and the internet has responded. And again, I'm not as close to the case in Florida as I was the gorilla situation here in Cincinnati. But we know that situation got nasty. I'm so happy that died down. I told you it would. Most of these news stories have a shelf life of no more than a week. It's very, very rare for a news story to have the kind of legs that it can survive a couple of weekends. Because the weekend, in terms of the news, it kind of resets everything. You know, that's a reset button. And by Monday, the news media is already programming you and packaging and projecting to you new stories. So in, in, in case there's something that, unless there's something that's really, really compelling and it really draws the attention of the American public uh, and or there are updates that are happening, right, to keep the story burning and, and it gives it legs, most of these stories are done in a week. I'm telling you from my professional observation. Brent writes, uh, at least Jerrica's consistent. She don't play when it comes to those babies. She goes hard on negligent, negligent parents. No mercy, LOL. Yes, she does. Uh, Jerrica, yes, she does. I believe with the parents right now, they're on trial fighting for their life. Jerrica's like death penalty. Uh, what else? Good morning, Jay. Good to have you. Welcome. Charles writes, the final starting off looking like a sweep. But Cleveland found the fortitude to tie the series. Going forward to win it all, Cleveland needs to keep doing what they have been doing. Curry is going to try and go off next game. So Cleveland better bring it like they have the last two games. And no, the series isn't fixed. Great flows this morning. Ronda writes, uh, five alligators the last time I heard have been killed looking for this baby. The media and social networks on criticizing and threatening these parents like they did the boy with the gorilla parents. I hate to always feel like things are racially biased, but the proof is in the pudding. She's right. She's right. And see, these are the type of things that black people notice. We notice these kind of things. So in one case, you got a little boy who crawls away from his mother and the mother was caught up with some other kids. Things happen. In another case, you've got parents who it appears they decided to cross the threshold into a place where if, if there were signs up saying no swimming, that these grown parents should have known better. That's different. It's a lot different. If you take your kids down to Florida, you're in a man-made lagoon or wherever you are, there's water there, and there are signs that say, do not swim. If you allow your kids to be anywhere near there, you should be held liable. You are culpable in that child's death. I'm telling you, man. Terrence writes, and foul should have been called in the other games, but it was an ass whooping. Listen, the refs, I like the refs the way they are now. I like the game the way it is now. Some things, you know, some things should have to be more important than other things. And what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that, you know, they're trying to make these refs be perfect. They're not going to be perfect. The human element is a part of the game. They are going to make mistakes. Every When you go, when you play in the NBA or you sign on to be an owner of a team, then you are signing on to have humans who are flawed, who make mistakes, who have slow reaction times, you have signed on to allow humans to dictate on some level what happens. And that means humans make mistakes and you got to accept it. That's it. 
Kevin writes, I've always pulled for LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. All I'm saying is the NBA makes more money if it goes to game seven. Absolutely. Brenda writes, good morning, Chop Shop. Good morning. Brent writes, yes, it is rigged. Just like that. You can fight against an ideology. It's not a physical entity. It is a political football. You must remember that the economic infrastructure is dependent on war. Look at the military budget and defense contractors. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's talking about whether the NBA is rigged. I want to know whether uh, our efforts to stop the terrorists are rigged. Will there ever be a day within our lifetime, within your lifetime, when we are not at war against terrorists? Will there ever be a day in which we are not at war against the so-called terrorists? I mean, we've been fighting this war since what? 2000, what? Three? 13 years? And I'm here to tell you And I reported on this even before we dropped bombs in Baghdad, that there are some folks out there who are making lots of money because America is in a perpetual war against terrorism. I ain't making no money off of it. If I was, I might feel differently. I'm going to be straight up with you. But when they manufacture these weapons of mass destruction, you know, on a small scale, these weapons of warfare, I don't I don't get a check out of that. Do you? Uh, Dell Rice Curry is not scoring no damn 60 points. He's been shut down all series. Kyrie is punking him. Hi. Yeah, Kyrie Irving is stepping up big time, and he's making Steph Curry work. I've never seen anybody make him work like that. In a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, it, Kyrie Irving is much more difficult to cover than even Russell Westbrook. Uh, Russell Westbrook goes in a straight line. He doesn't have that lateral, herky-jerky, dipsy-do, and one, mixtape, ball out to a fall out kind of style like Kyrie Irving. He just doesn't have it. What, what, What Russell Westbrook is good at is he can put his head down. He's very physical. He can get to the rim. But typically, he moves in a straight line. And that's why it was so easy for the Golden State Warriors to shut him down. All you had to do was stay in front of them. That's it. Uh, Miss D writes, um, uh, I I think this is a library issue. This is an insurance issue. Insurance companies don't want to cover anything that is expensive. Cancer treatments, sex changes, shoulder surgeries, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I can buy that. I can buy that. And then if you are the folks, let, let's say it's your decision to make the decision, right, about health care coverage for the people who are employees for the Cincinnati Hamilton County library system. OK. Do you want to pay more if, in fact, that is the, what's going on here? Because one or two individuals want to get a sex change operation. And you've got to think about how the system affects and benefits everybody. That's deep. Mike writes, if LeBron and Kyrie play like this, they play – let me back up here, Mike. If LeBron and Kyrie play like this, they can – it's a wrap in game seven. Cavs all day. You're right. I'm with you. I, I decipher what you're saying. I'm with you. Mila writes, if I'm not mistaken, don't most insurance companies cover getting your tubes tied? Question mark. I missed the beginning of that convo. When I had my son, they asked if I wanted to get it done. I said, hell no. Well, that's the point I'm trying to make. I mean, if you decide to get your tubes tied, unless in Deanna's case, you know, was a suggestion from her doctor. But in many cases, it's women who are deciding, you know what? I got my child or I have the children I want. I'm done. I'm out. I want to be able to enjoy the pleasures of sex without the ramifications of having sex. That's what people are saying. So that's a conscious choice that people are making. And I was just trying to compare that to the conscious choice that people are making about having a sex change operation. And I've met some resistance this morning from the chop shop. Don't chop me up. (laughs) Uh, Ms. D writes, uh, she's on a treadmill. Ed writes, these alligator memes are hilarious. I have been laughing all night. Yeah, I've seen some of them. I thought it was a little too soon for the alligator memes. <laughs> I thought it was a little too soon. But damn, I mean, that's the nature of the internet. And on some levels, I love how people can be creative when they're in these anonymous spaces. But in other cases, it can go too far. Terrence writes, uh, some stories keep coming back. 
when Peter gets involved, remember Michael Vick. Yeah, Michael Vick will never get that down. He'll never live it down. Uh, T-Bone writes, Curry exposed for a lack of defense. Uh, Yeah. But I don't think anybody. I mean, it's very few people that can successfully stay in front of Kyrie Irving. He's very fast. His handle is incredible. I mean, how many times last night or throughout this series has Kyrie Irving, a.k.a. AKA Uncle Drew, been driving to the basket or trying to get past his man or two men? And you're thinking he's going to have to get a ball up. And somehow he emerges from the crowd and lays it up with the right hand or the left hand. I mean, he's an, he's an amazing talent. Uh, Brent writes, hard to determine who would be MVP of the series if the Cavs win. Could go either way, LeBron or Kyrie. I think after last night, it's definitely LeBron. Yeah, it's definitely LeBron. Like, if if they win game seven and Kyrie and LeBron have the same amount of points or anywhere near it, because of last night, uh, Michael Jordan, Will Chamberlain, and now LeBron James are the only players in NBA history to score 40 points on back-to-back games in the NBA Finals. I think that little factoid, that little tidbit, will push LeBron over the top. And plus, it makes for a bigger, a better story. Mike writes, damn, Nate, my, gr- my gr- grammar was correct. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Charles writes, if the Cavs win, LeBron and Kyrie should be co-MVPs. No, nah, it should be LeBron. It should be LeBron because LeBron is the leader through all of that. He's the leader through all of that. Deanna writes, really? The Gorilla Means were out within an hour? Yeah, they were. I'm on Facebook, and I'm looking at Gorilla Memes. And I didn't want to laugh. <laughs> I didn't want to laugh because I got the image of this young boy in my head. And it makes me think about my son. Uh, numerous things uh, are percolating uh, here in the city of Cincinnati. Has anybody been watching and keeping your eyes on the investigation into MSD? That's the Metropolitan Sewer District. Uh, Now it's been reported that Sam Malone is somehow the face of something that went wrong. And I don't know who's making this decision in local media. I'm talking about the Cincinnati Inquirer to make Sam Malone the sole face of of the MSD investigation. If you don't know, Sam Malone was on city council for about two years and he's been doing some consulting work throughout the city. It's been a while since I ran into Mr. Sam Malone, but when I see him, we always speak. We always stop and speak. And uh, he was a listener of the show. And uh, I think, think I interviewed him a few times over the years. And Sam Malone was paid about, allegedly, okay, if you believe what's being reported, he was paid about $300,000 over a three-year period. Sam Malone. To do consulting work for MSD. Now it's coming out that there might have been some threats that were made. It just seems like, and again, I'm going to put it out here, it seems like the local media is trying to make black men the face of something that went wrong down at the Metropolitan Sewer District. Now, whether it be, uh, I believe, Tony Parrott, who was the former director of MSD, or whether it be people that were doing contracts while he was the director, uh, folks like Sam Malone. But I think that's very interesting. Very interesting. MSD, uh, Metropolitan Sewer District. And I don't know about you, but when I get my water bill, it never makes me smile. It never makes me smile. I always have a bad attitude when I get my water bill. And the number one reason why is I don't understand why I'm being charged so much. For sewer. Why are the sewer services in the city of Cincinnati so damn expensive? What are you doing? Now, what I have been told is that they are passing off some of the costs to the consumer for upgrades and things like that. And I don't understand how that works. I mean, think about it. If you've got this money from the feds and they're telling you that you need to update the sewer systems, right? And and everything relevantly, everything that's relevant and associated with it, it needs to be updated and you get this money. Why is it that when you start doing the updates, it costs the consumers more money? It doesn't make any sense. It's like I'm paying my bill every every month. Some folks have it set up every three months. 